Alright, salut everyone, we're back into the war front where the Germans are crushing us. Like, I don't know how, but they're just like... They're taking advantage of the fact I cannot... Of my, um... I don't know, they're just winning, I just know that. Because my forces are not standing... Like, they aren't debuffing every single soldier. We're starting to lose every single battle. Man. And as you can see, I, I don't know why, but my soldiers are just not taking they're just not taking the hits. They're just dying slowly. It's probably because I don't have all the men I could have. And um in this episode I'm gonna see if I can call on my ally. Will these guys like who are drawing maybe? Yes! Okay. With the United States the March of Cascolia. Reports have reached the black shirts. Okay, so apparently there's some kind of march going on that's very, very imperialistic. And I'm not really and particularly fond of what's happening in my country in terms of the social issues that are happening, but I can't really do much about it. So I might as well just continue with the step up a lift. And the Germans are starting to do a major counterattack now that my forces have spread themselves a little bit. Um, mm. Dang. I wanted to attack quickly because I was trying to save Poland, but it was no point. Poland was unsavable. Okay, just go in here. It's probably going to die as soon as I get there. Oh, no, we saved him. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we have these battles over here being fought. And the Germans are definitely trying to push through. I'm going to put some soldiers down in Cleves. Going to destroy the rest of these guys. Um, Germans are moving back over there. Okay. I'm going to move in right there. Yeah, that, that's a safe zone. So it should have a safe, safe viability. They're pushing through right here pretty hard. Um, yeah, they're, they're sending a lot of troops over here, so I'm going to try to help out my men. Um, but sadly, I think the death ratio to this game is probably a little bit too high for me. Um, Spanish are now added to my sphere, which is awesome. It's been a while since I've had the Spanish in my sphere. And America, I'm not sure if it's actually going to help me or if they're just going to hinder me. Sometimes the Americans do really well in helping, and then sometimes they just, you know, be America. <laughs> and as I've seen, the uh, Germans are completely crushing their side. The Italians are not helping me one lick. And I seriously mean that. The Italians, see, I thought they would be able to crush all these guys. They aren't. I don't know how. They're just, they're just being pathetic. I mean, Portugal is helping me more. Okay, wow, Spain, you guys offered me an alliance. It's pretty cool. Okay, well, let's take out the rest of these these Ottoman outskirts places. Okay, um, at the same time, see how well... No, our ships are not ready for a battle. They would die in about a couple minutes. Um, but let's see. We have, let's see, I'm going to have to scoot in because I can't see all the battles going on. We have, uh, let's see, we have... No, we need combat. So there we go. Kessel has... Basically all my men have been dead. I have nothing that can go fight against that. How did the... Retreat. I may lose a lot, but this is... I'm starting to get overwhelmed. I don't care if somebody's been tampering with our empire. We treat everyone. We have to get everyone out of there. The Germans are starting to push through, and I'm not going to be... I don't think we'll have the... We push through, but the Germans, as you can see, they're just overwhelming us slowly but surely. So yeah, you guys get right there as quickly as possible. Um, you guys start spreading out on the front. 
We're just gonna, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with my original idea and we're just gonna play a defensive war. Because I can win a defensive war. I don't think, okay, we're gonna have to get rid of this map mode. For a second. There we go. Um, I can't win against this. This is, I'm starting to lose this. I'm starting to lose most of, yeah, you see, most of my men were starting to die at the end. And that I cannot allow. So I'm just going to pull back everyone. Um, if my vassals want to, if my allies want to move in, that's fine with me. But I'm done. Like, I'm just going to keep in a very, very fortified position. Okay, so I got, how many men were stuck behind it? A couple. Yeah, just, I had a couple men stay behind. Kind of stinks I have to lose some of these guys, but I'm not... Okay, we set up a good fortified line. We don't want to. Yeah, you see, look how many Germans are coming in now. I think it's all because I think now did the Polish give up? Yep, the Polish gave up. So now we're dealing with the full might of the German army. And if I had not retreated right now, then I probably would have just lost. Because we can't. If we kept in our attack formation, we would basically die. So now I'm just going to wait for the inevitable German siege. Um, you guys get back into formation. And if the Italians, like I said, if the Italians want to attack, that's good prerogative by them. But I'm, I'm not attacking. See, I already lost like two armies. I'm going to go see if I can replenish these guys behind the lines. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It was a good call, calling this and just saying retreat. Ah oh, man, we're losing much more men than the Germans. I don't know why I lose much more men than the Germans do. It makes it sometimes makes no sense to me. Okay. The beauty. Whatever. Let's get relationships with Greece. Okay. I'm still trying to spread out my front. I'll make sure we cover up all of our loose ends. Okay. Okay, that should cover up all of these forts on the fort, on the full level, and we got our entire line ready for a, a big, gigantic, look at that, a big, gigantic German attack. I'm ready for the Germans when they come. I'm seriously ready for them. Apparently we lost Wudzawick. If it was one of these battles in the back, oh, you guys, I told you guys to retreat. Get out of there. Uh, I can't destroy them. Okay, I wanted them to get out of there, but they're not listening to me. Okay. Okay, and we have cast attack capabilities, so... Okay, and I keep sending more men. Disobey, band, radioactive troops. Okay. Get some troops right over there. Okay, I got a full range of defensive men. None of them, well, except for these guys, are taking him for me. Still trying to spread out these guys. Let's go right there. Okay. Man, it's a good thing I retreated. Yeah, this is this is much bigger than I'm just gonna stick him in Luxembourg. Cause that is technically a front. Okay. Oh, this is the main Shoot, let's pull these guys back. Cause this is the that's the reason why we're having so much attrition. Okay. Let's go right here, debalance them. Send half of them to go right here. And then we're just gonna go send some men down there. Wow, okay, so we have the main Okay, this is a good screenshot moment right there. <laughs> I tell you people. Alright now we have the main German army about to approach us. About they almost reconquered all their old land, and I'm not giving up on my land. So I'm just waiting for them to just start pushing against my back, and we can start seeing who's gonna win. The revolution in Peru, it's not good, and yeah, the Germans basically crushed the Russians and the Polish, which means it's going to be. Wait, I'm still winning this war. 
by a lot. Okay, well, since I'm still winning this war, um, gonna add war goals. So, first liberate nation of Albania. We'll do that to our war goals. That'll be the first war goal we're gonna add. Intervene immediately. Um, I'm hoping somebody will... Um, let's see. Hey, in, uh, Egypt, do you guys know? Figured, I probably figured you guys did not want to lie to me. Um, oh my goodness, I completely forgot that the, uh, the Persians were in this war. Holy shoot! That means they're going, they've been fighting the, uh, Ottoman Empire and helping me out. Dang, I completely forgot about that. So that means we actually do have somebody fighting against the Ottomans pretty ferociously. So that means maybe we can go, go send some of our... Okay, let's go, let's go to divide up these guys. Okay. There we go, take the 44 men. We're going to move our army from over here to over there. And we're basically going to take back the entire Suez Canal. And I'm highly doubting, it seems like the Brazilian, it seems like all my friends are just basically keeping the sea safe for me. And I'm going to see if the Spanish want to join this war that we're in right now. Likely. Okay. That'll be cool. Spain, did you guys... Ah, oh, dang it. Spain decided they did not want to join. That's dunk. Okay, and how is Serbia doing? Is Serbia still at war? No. They got out of this war because probably the Ottomans overwhelmed them. The Ottomans... Well, the one good thing is that Germany is about to enter the winter time. And as we know from history, Germany does have a... I mean, Germany does have a losing streak when it comes to winter time battles. And we're mainly, as we can see now, they're starting to crush down on all the, uh, the Germans are going to start pushing against my line. I'm going to have to hold. I got enough of my men ready to fight these guys out. We're going to see who wins. This is the last, this is probably one of those last battles. I wish I could have retreated, but for some reason did not let me retreat, so I'm just going to let them die. Okay. And the Germans are going to, they should stop pushing against my line here soon. Oh my goodness, this is going to be intense, I already know it, and I'm losing so much money. Okay, you know what? We can't pay social spending right now. It's just not in our budget. Can't pay this, we can't pay this. We can't pay this. Oh, I'm not fully taxing them. No duh, they're not getting the full... Okay, we can pay social reforms. And we can pay about 50%. 50%. That's why they were aiming at me. I was like, what was I doing wrong? Okay, that should even out to a good fat. It's at least going to balance out my army for a little bit so I don't have to deal with anything. Um, ah, it seems like the Russians are just like teasing me a little bit. Okay. I could so help them out right now. Yeah. Okay, we won the Battle of Kisalistan. Uh, we're basically just sitting here now, waiting for to see what the Rus what the Germans do. Germans are not doing what I hoped they would do, which is move into my land so I could go take over them. They're basically just they're not really moving into their land either. Like, hmm, I think our war just got stalemated. Dang. Okay. Okay, so Sweden wants an alliance back. Okay, sure, but this time, actually join me. And not just... Oh my goodness, Brazil is actually landing troops. Okay, that is awesome. Okay, so we're going... That's, yeah, it seems like our, our main vassals are starting to actually do stuff. So let's try to help them a little bit by collapsing the uh, Ottoman front a little bit. Giving the Ottomans a little bit more to think about besides just... Nothing. Now, uh, dang, Battle of Wittgenstein. Well, I knew that battle was going to lose. And, okay, they engaged us on another fight. Um, I'm going to send these guys in to go fight them. And, yeah, we should have... I have enough army to deal with any, any men that they throw in at me. I'm just wondering who they're going to throw in at me. Okay, we're going to have to pay rapid attention because the Germans... 
definitely okay so i'm getting too too many men right here so i'll pull back a couple oh well that did not work exactly as i intended i was intending to pull them back not get them into a new battle so i'll move these guys over here hmm the germans are trying to find some kind of hole in my army but i don't think they're finding anything because i'm definitely armored up and poland's not going to give a military access so all these soldiers are basically stranded out over here and if the russians knew how to actually use their winter advantages they could actually win this war okay and i'm going to carry my troops my main troops from africa are going to regain the suez canal dig in got a much bigger advantage astronomics ah oh, i should have waited till we had airplanes that was one thing i forgot to do okay and Basically, the Brazilians and the Portuguese are... Wow, they're doing a pretty good job. Okay. The Italians, I think, have finally finished off most of the um, Ottoman army up in the north. In the south, or well, in this region, I should say, we're still heavily fighting. Like, yeah, it's just heavily fighting. I'm going to divide this army, go send in half of them. To go fight the rest of Germans, because apparently they're winning. Germany just knows how to do better, like, tax than we do. Okay, the battle is sunken. I hope that's the battle I was fighting. Okay, and let's get back to there. Get in the back. No one's getting nutrition. Another major battle right there. I'm going to go send the uh, my Luxembourg troops to go in and go fight for us. Okay. Yeah, for the most majority of this, the Germans are trying to find some kind of hole in my army, but they're not. I have it. I have myself locked down with as many men as I can get. Um, diplomatic tensions. Well, it doesn't. I don't think. I think. Yeah, I was about to say most of the great powers are at war right now. I don't think it's gonna succeed. And the Germans are definitely. Why are we losing so bad? I'm seriously wondering this. Gas attack. Well. Don't we have gas attack defense capabilities? That was one of those reasons why I, uh... Yeah, we do. Why are we... Oh, we have gas attacks. Oh, th wait, why are we losing? Wait, we have all these modifiers, and how are we losing? Like, how are we losing? Okay, I'm seeing this. Oh, they have more artillery. I think that's the main reason. Yeah, we have mostly just infantry there. Yeah, I, okay, I see why. I see why we're losing now. We have mainly just infantry there. That's why we're losing. Okay, well, I have an army right here ready just in case to engage. If that turns into a sour, a little bit of a sour thing. I believe it's supposed to be respected. And I'm starting to, my economy's starting to pitch pocket now. That's now that we're in, like, year two. Let's go see if we can go add in some of our own. And now I have my own tanks in. French fascist. Uh, they all spawned in a county that I don't really care about. So, yeah, none of them spawned in mainland Europe. I'm gonna go move these troops over here to this line. And move over here to this line. Gonna go move over here to this line. Gonna go move over here to this line. I'm gonna move over here to this line. I'm gonna move over here to this line. And go over here to this line. Are you guys always sending? Okay. There we go. That should move all of our closer units. I'm gonna keep about 81 troops back to make sure that we have control of our own rep, our own destiny. And the Italians are as still expected. They are still not mobilizing. Well, they have really good confidence, okay, and for the most part, the war has drastically turned against us, and, um, um, hmm, yeah, I think I'll just leave it here, guys, so, I'm pretty tired right now, so I, I thank you guys for watching this, and I'll see you guys next time.